to another video. Now you know, I as you guys know, I don't play. Uh, I, I haven't uploaded in a very long time, as of when I'm recording this. Um, but we're going to be doing a career mode now. This career mode is going to be a project career mode on a certain player. Now I'm going to do it again next FIFA, um, which is obviously going to be the final FIFA. And then for EA Sports 23. I'm also going to be doing, well, depending on what they have for that, maybe we'll do a career mode for that. Now, I've already done and got, got already the boring stuff out of the way. As you can see, we're already on the league. I've got, like, you know, all of the friendlies out of the way. They're similar. They don't really care about the results. Um, and obviously, we've, we've added a few people to the uh, the transfer targets. So obviously, we've got Gabriel Jesus, Vieira, and Kalulu, who's obviously a very young uh, centre-back from AC Milan. Uh, or from France, uh, he's actually very good, um, and he's actually done pretty well this season as well. Uh, Vieira obviously we signed, and obviously same with Gabriel Jesus. Uh, now obviously this is going to be a project um, on a certain person, and it's going to be Lokonga. Now Lokonga is one of them players, obviously he's only 21, however he has potential, and in real life, the games that he has played, he's played very well, so I thought, you know what, we'll do a project thing, because we could do it on like Saka, Smith Rowe, and Ketia, Martinelli, but they're already expected to play at a high level as they've been doing it for a past season already however Lokonga hasn't had much playtime so obviously he isn't expected to pl uh, perform at the levels that Saka or Smith Rowe or, or anyone else are to perform I have gone and recalled back Saliba who obviously would also have done in real life same with Maitland Niles he obviously he came back he returned from Roma um, obviously they want to sell him in real life however we are going to keep him as I feel like him and Tom Yasu will be a, a, a key part of, of the squad going forward into into this season and hopefully many seasons to come. So what we're going to do, firstly, first thing first, if you're actually going to try and approach to buy Gabriel Jesus, I haven't done any financial takeover. We have 80 million as that's a standard, a standard amount of um, money that Arsenal get. We're going to offer 43... Uh, 43 we're gonna offer them Lacazette and maybe we can offer them 37.5 million and then we'll add a sell on clause of 15% and see if oh and it works straight away so we, we take those that is something we do take now we um but we are going to we're going to sign Gabriel Jesus now I know this as a it's going to be it's going to be crucial now I know it's a project Lokonga video however we are still going to be signing players to obviously compete with his spot so he you know can still get PT but also competition so he improves more. Uh, we're going to disregard a release clause. He wants he will take a pay cut which is very very nice. He will take a pay cut of thirty seven thousand. However he wants an eight hundred and sixty thousand sign on bonus and after ten goals one point two million which we're we're going to counter that. We're gonna we're gonna offer them five hundred thousand uh, five hundred and fifty thousand We'll up it to ninety-two thousand, and we'll and we'll lower this down to a million, and uh, and ten after fifteen goals, and he accepts. Very, very nice things you love to see. Now we actually are, and he he's gonna go straight into. Thing. We're gonna make him a centre forward. He goes straight into the team. Likewise with Nketiah, we're gonna have the two. It's going to be like a more of a young squad, as you can see. We've got Ramsdale, Saliba, Maitland, Niles, Tierney, Smith Rowe, Odegaard, Lokonga, Saka. As you can see, I've already like changed their positions. To, I've already adjusted their positions so they fit in a team perfectly. Uh, and obviously on the bench, we've got obviously Martinelli, Partey, Pepe, Ben White, Xhaka, Tavares, Tom Yasu. And obviously on here, we've got more players which are never going to be used um, unless we do really need to. Uh, and obviously they will be used for the second team. Also, guys. One quick thing, one quick tip. If you don't like the fact that you keep on having to, you know, answer emails every single day, if you click RT or R2 and change these to bypass for both of them, yes, you will miss some emails, but as long as you just stop every few days, you should be fine. Like like we missed a Cedric offer uh, and Martinelli offer. We got our final scout report back, um, but we do also have some offers for Xhaka and Smith Rowe, um, which... We're definitely not accepting for Smith Rowe as he is a crew, a crew, a crucial part of the squad. As he, he's only twenty and he's something that Arsenal in real life are trying to build around, and likewise in the career mode. However, Xhaka, we could get between twelve to seventeen point six million is what 
uh, that his market value should be uh, around. But so we could negotiate and get more than 14 million. However, I'm not going to I'm not going to use him. So I am definitely going to sell him. However, I am going to try and maybe get 16 million out of them and see if okay. So they're 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 willing. They're, they're, they want to buy him, however, they're not willing to go up by that much. Let's see if we can push 15 out of them. Nice. 15 million meets what they deem fit. Uh, we're going to reject offers for Smith Rowe as well. Sold. And that. Oh, we have got a huge offer for Gabriel, who is going to be in our squad. However, it's 37 million now. We do have Ben White, who's on the bench. Who, or who we could use Ben White instead of Gabriel, pair, pair him alongside Saliba. Or we could negotiate maybe getting a, uh, a centre-back who I wanted to buy from them, which is Kalulu, who is 10 million. And maybe we can, as his market value is between 50 and 60 million, we could get 45 million for him plus Kalulu. I think that's an amazing offer, honestly. We could get it. Ah, then they they don't want to they don't want to do it. Okay. Oh well. As but we are going to go into our first game against Brentford, who have a solid team. For they they have Ericsson, they have Ivan Tony, they have Mbwemo, and on Yeka as well, who's a very good uh, player, in, especially in the game. Um, not sure about real life because he doesn't play that much, uh, especially last season. He didn't play too much last season, but. Who, uh, who knows what he'll be like next season. Obviously, Ericsson has left for United. Ivan Tony will he leave next uh, this uh, current transfer window? Who knows? But we're going to go in. We've got, we've got a strong a strong uh, lineup, I would say, in Ramsdale, Tierney, uh, the new two people in Saliba, Maitland-Niles, and obviously Gabriel Jesus as well, who is a new signing, but from a different club. But we are going to go into the first game. Um, it's, a, it's away at Brentford. So, uh, the first Premier League game, here we go. Here we go, the first game of the season. Let's go. Want to rush into anything? Here's the main man for the for the series, is Lokonga. Made some good progress already in him. Ruin, ruin the whole squad. And they've gone through so easily, but Ramsdale comes out and makes a big save really quickly. Ah, oh, but they score. We've conceded in 14 minutes. It shouldn't be happening. It was poor defending by me, I can't lie. But, once again, I'm telling you, the Brentford game is always cursed, I'm telling you. There's something about Brentford, and in the Arsenal game, it happened in real life, it's, and it happens in FIFA every time. Now, we're going to try and go for a quick kick-off with Saka. We're going to hold the ball up. We've got Odegaard now, and we've got Martinelli making an incredible run on the wing. He sees Nketiah. Odegaard, Gabriel Jesus, oh! Saka gets it, he, he brings it down, and unfortunately, Gabriel Jesus can't get to it, but Gabriel makes sure to recover it, so Brentford can't get the ball back. The Conga, oh, I nearly, we nearly the pass, it went through straight to Odegaard. He would have been through on goal there, maybe, maybe, it could have been 1-1. But we've got Nketiah now. Gabriel Jesus gets the ball, oh, he can't get to the ball in time. Saka plays a nice ball back to Lokonga. Lokonga's going to smash it outside the box. Oh my god, and Lokonga! In the 30th minute, I think it was, the main man for this series has just scored outside the box to make it 1-1. How fitting is that for the series? It's incredible. Gabriel just couldn't get to it, but Saka plays a nice ball out to, uh, out to Lekonga. Lekonga just hits it, top bins. No chance for the goalkeeper saving that one. And that is just incredible for the series. That's a great way to start off Project Sambi. They're playing some nice football. We can't, we can't, we can't defend against them for some reason. We're, we're playing awful. But, but the Congo makes a nice interception, loses the ball somehow, and Ramsdale concedes again. It, it's, it's just like typical. Like, like I said, the Brentford game actually has a curse to it. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna kick off again. I'm probably stuttering like crazy. For some reason, I just stutter so much when I speak. Like. I don't know why. I think it's because I speak. I somewhat speak kind of fast and um, start uh, start a bit, but it is what it is. We've got Lukonga now on the ball. Menos, with a nice ball. Saka plays a wonderful ball into into Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus is going to dance around the box. Plays a nice ball into Enketia. Enketia cannot get to the ball. 
and uh, in time. And at half time, it is 2 1 Brentford. It's a disappointing first half, but maybe in the second half, we can bring on bring on someone and uh, hopefully they can make the difference in uh, in the thing, which I am going to do. As I'm going to, uh, what I am going to do is Gabriel Jesus can play on the right wing. So we're going to, no, actually, no, we're not. We're going to bring on Smith Rowe. One. Okay, so we are going to bring on Smith Rowe for Martin Lee. I think Martin Lee didn't get involved in the game that much. It was more so the right hand side. Um, he said so he wasn't involved in the game, so we're going to bring on Smith Rowe and uh, and see. Oh, Martin Lee, sorry, I think it was Smith Rowe. Sorry, we're going to bring on Smith Rowe and just see if he can, you know, get involved in the game and uh, see how well he does. As Martin Lee didn't get involved in the game so much, but I think it definitely shows that once the midfield. Well, I mean, to be fair, the midfield is all right. Like Odegaard and Lokonga is a, it's a solid midfield. I think definitely for sure it could be improving. Obviously, but eventually that will happen down the line. Maybe after one season, Lokonga might be, you know, an 84 rated. Who knows? Obviously, he's low rated for now. A nice interception though by, by Saliba. And we've got Smith Rowe now who's running down. He's already getting involved in the game more than Martinelli was, which is things he plays the ball back to him, to Tierney. Who plays it to Odegaard? Odegaard plays with it. Gabriel Jesus, and it's 2-2. Gabriel Jesus makes it 2-2. The new signing on his debut. They played an amazing ball into Ivan Tony. He passes it back. It's Mabuemo. He gets through, but an amazing save by Ramsdale, who has been a very inconsistent player for me in recent times, but he's showing why he should be the number one sh uh, goalkeeper. Smith on the ball now. He passes it to Odegaard. There's no one for Odegaard to pass to, so he passes it back to Tierney, who's going to pass it back to the defence. Oh, Saliba takes a little bit too long on the ball, nearly causing Brentford to get the ball back. And it was lucky there. It was a lucky, lucky mishap from Saliba. But oh no, we've got someone down. Who is it? Oh, it's Nketiah. Oh, that's a huge blow for that's a huge blow. And Ketia out. We do not have anyone who can replace him that can be brought straight on. Go on, Odegaard. He plays a nice one to Pepe, who's already getting involved. Smith Rowe. Oh, Smith Rowe in a cam spot, nearly making an impact as soon as he gets moved up the pitch. And that's it. At, at full time, it is Arsenal 2, Brentford 2, whatever way you want to say it. For the first game of the Premier League season kicking off for Project Lokonga, Project Zambi, whatever I call it. It's 2-2. Two, two. And that's it. Okay, so after we have found out that Enketia is gone for two months, which is a huge blow as two months at the start of the season already being injured means he's not going to be fit enough. He's not going to have any sharpness, anything. He's going to be out for two months which always happens, obviously, when you're injured, but that's a huge blow for the team, especially him, because he's only young, and that, that could be that could be defining his career, if so. Um, now, Cedric's going to say he, he should think he's won. I'm just going to say it wasn't an easy opponent, um, just to keep him happy, than he really is, but that's a huge blow for us. Now, we're gonna ha that means we're going to have to play... We haven't actually got a spare striker, which... Is huge. They're saying we're going to have to offer between 96 and 140 million Great British pounds to sign Joao Felix, which is never good. So we're going to offer them 80 million, which is all of our wages uh, or transfer budget, including some wage. And we're going to even offer a player, which we can't really offer much. However, we're not going to be using Pepe, who's 20 million. So overall, it's a 101 million offer. And we're going to see if they accept it. They probably won't. They, they want 125 million, which is way out of our budget on what we want to do. So we're going to offer them that. We're going to leave that. I can't bother to change that. However, we may be able to offer them party, which, in my opinion, as we have Lokonga... And we're going to be having Vieira down the line. Likewise, also with Odegaard, Maitland-Niles, who can also we can move into the midfield, as he did play in midfield in real life. Maybe Atletico Madrid will want Thomas Partey back. Okay, so they will accept Thomas Partey. 
now we can remove uh, edit the sell on clause to 15% uh yeah 15% however if we offer 85 million maybe they will accept 85 million plus Thomas party which would be huge if they do accept 85 million which they want 95 million which is incredible I think we 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 should be saving a lot of money if they can accept 90 million. They said they're going to come back to us, which is fine. But 90 million plus Thomas Party, which is a huge offer, I think. And we do need a striker, as we do not, we literally do not have a striker. We don't have any strikers apart from Enketia, who is now out for two months, which is a huge blow. And oh my God. I have saw it before we go in into the game. They have accepted 90 million with a 10% sell on clause, which is fine. Plus Thomas Party for Joel Felix. We can now go into contract negotiations and sign Joel Felix right before the Chelsea game, which is huge as Chelsea are obviously a tough opponent. Now, he's going to be crucial, obviously. Um, he's going to be our main striker, especially now with uh, Enketia being out injured. We're going to accept five years. That's what we want. He's only 21. Disregard release clause. Now the wage is currently on 58k. So we're going to offer him 60,000 plus 300,000 sign-on bonus and see if he'll accept that. He will want that. However, he also wants after 10 goals. We're going to lower that to 550,000. And after 10 goals, we'll see if he accepts 650,000 after 10 uh, appearances. Sorry. We've already had one lose loss to Fabio Vieira. Will you accept 60,000 then? There we go. We have signed Joao Felix in the first season. We've only signed two people. However, we also have recalled, bear in mind, Saliba and Maitland Niles, which is huge. But we have signed now Gabriel Jesus and Joel Felix, making that strike force a lot more powerful. Especially the fact that we just lost uh, Lacazette, getting Gabriel Jesus. And also Aubameyang has also left um, recently um, in real life. Thank you guys so much for watching anyway in the first episode of Project Sambi. Um, in the second episode we will be going into the game versus Chelsea with the new squad, which... Um, as you guys can see, it's Joao Felix and also Gabriel Jesus. Likewise with Saliba, the niles Everyone else, obviously the same players. Anyway guys, we're going to go into that game in the second episode. But if you've liked it, make sure you leave a like. Any suggestions, make sure to let me know down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.